Hey guys, welcome to Sun Vibes, where you get to discover your true authentic self. My name is Ayasha Roberson, and in this episode of Sun Vibes, I'm going to be reflecting on part two of 2022, what to expect in 2023, and how this June has been transformative to my life, and hopefully it will be transformative in your life as well. So 2022 has been an exciting year for me for personal and emotional growth. I have really got tapped in and tuned into the things that I think will help not just benefit me, but other people as well. And sometimes when we are going through life, we are like our own test dummy. So with my company, there has been a lot of change, a lot of growth. A lot of people who were with me 12 plus years ago are no longer with me. There's been a lot of shifting in my own personal growth, emotional growth, uh, professional growth, financial growth, and so forth. And it's been a really great year. I just love the fact that the universe put in this concept for this show called Sun Vibes, where I get to help you discover your true authentic self. And it's different from my blog. In my blog, I was really able to tune into, you know, the zodiacs and really focus on specific things within that zodiac that I really meditate and pray on that will help you uh, help you with these different areas of life, whether it's forgiveness, whether it's self-love, whether it's um, finding the truth, whether it's transformation, whether it's ending cycles. And it's a good energy to be in when you're tuned in and tapped into your higher self and you're able to create different things that you would never be able to do if you weren't tuned into this way and I believe when you're in this spiritual realm of really knowing who you are the creativity flows it just flows just like just like uh if you're ever been in a state of things are just like everything is just flowing very naturally and very easily. And there's no resistance because you're just really tuned in to your inner self and you love yourself and you love the being that you're, that you're in. And even when things don't go well, you still love who you are as a person. You still love your life. You still love all the great things and you focus on all the positive and actually show gratitude and those are the things that really has set in my spirit throughout this year. And it's like the icing on this cake because this is the last Wednesday of 2022. And a new year is upon us. And there's so much new growth that we all can continue to work on that we haven't been able to actually heal from and work on something else. We can take it with into 2023. I think one of the things that people need to work on, and this is just goes for myself too. So when I talk to you, I'm not really talking at you. I'm talking really about myself, but I believe these are things that can help you as well is that we're, as human beings, are very hard on yourself. And I'm very hard on myself. I'm a Virgo. Virgos are extremely hard on themselves. We're perfectionists. No such thing as perfectionists. You would never be perfect. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's, you know, a lot of times when we're, feeling this way is because we've been conditioned to think this way or experience happened in our childhood. That's usually where it takes place, where we feel as though we have to be perfect. We have to try to, to I guess, mass up to some type of image that we created in our own head or someone has created for us. And it's not until we get to a self healing and self acceptance and, and release that and knowing that it's our right to feel embarrassed. It's our right to go through these, through that feeling and that's what this year has taught me. Like I had so many embarrassing moments this year with just with life in general and just uh, learning about just different things. And it has been such a blessing to be able to get to a point of my uh, my journey and heal from it and not allow it to bother me like it has before in the past. And a lot of times when we stagnate and we hang on to things that allow us to um, bother us, we become bitter, we become negative, we become toxic. Um, it's almost like a mental, a mental health condition. Like you ever see someone that's like, not even someone chronically mentally ill, someone that's highly functional, but are very possessive and they are 
wrapped up into one person and one thing and they're so jealous and so envious they can't get over that person and even though they may be sending negative energy negative vibes don't want nothing positive to happen to them by their thoughts by the way they speak they may go to people like negative people like people who do things to other people as well um and try to throw things at the person and they see that the person is still positive. They see that the person is still um, happy. They see that the person is still filled with joy and love and peace. And they are like, how can this person still be like that when they don't have nowhere near as much as I have? Because I have a house and I have I have this and I have that and I have this. And this person is still joyful. This person is still happy. This person is still at peace because it comes from within. No matter what people try to throw at me, I'm still going to be in love with myself. I'm still going to be the person that the creation, the creator has guided me to be. I have worked on myself for such a long period of time. I have gone through this healing journey. And for those who don't know, my healing journey started way before I became a certified spiritual life coach. I had my soul of a dark night at 27 years old. And who would have thought at 27 when I said I just wanted to take myself back and start working on myself that I was going to change and alter my future for the rest of my life. Just because of that bad experience, something positive and powerful happened. And it's a blessing to reflect on that. Yes, it's 17 years later. And yes, it's the end of 2022. But I'm not in a rush. I'm not in a rush to do anything the universe don't want me to do. I'm not in a rush to do anything that the universe don't want me to do. Let me say it again. I'm not in a rush, whatever the universe doesn't want me to do. I'm doing what the universe wants me to do and I'm not in a rush in doing it. So if it's supposed to happen, it will happen in divine timing. And I'm not worried about how old I am or how old I'm getting or where I'm at in life. I'm just very happy at where the universe has me. And it's a very positive experience. And I've been telling myself great positive things about myself, no matter what I go through. I don't care what someone says. I don't care what some, what someone tries to do. I am going to continue to be happy. I'm going to continue to be at peace. I'm going to continue to be at love with myself because I love who I am. And I've gone through many nights, many years <clears throat> of feeling brokenhearted, feeling like I'm in it by myself. And that's sometimes, that's what the negativity wants you to feel. The negativity wants you to feel like it's, it's you know, like, you're the victim all the time. And I'm like, I didn't, I did play that victim role for a while because I was like, why does that thing happen to me? Now I'm strong enough to understand it's had to happen to me because it was supposed to happen to me. This was supposed to happen. It's a great thing that it did happen because it has built so much character in myself. Can you imagine if I did not go through what I've gone through, I would be such a weak person. I wouldn't be able to deal with anything in life. And there's a lot of people like that, I'm sure you know, that can't deal with anything. They always have to run to the hospital to see someone. They got to be hospitalized. They got to talk to their therapist all the time. They got to talk to their psychiatrist, whether they're paying out of pocket or not. They have no coping skills. They have no foundation. They have no grounding. And one of the things I think that I have at this level is I have coping skills. One, I have really good, I don't like saying problem solving skills because I'm not really a problem solver. I just have really good self-talk and self-awareness of who I am as a person. And I know sometimes we get the negative energy and the, the negative things that say negative things about us, especially when something happens negatively, whether it's a car accident, whether um, a colleague curses you out or tells you off or make you feel bad at work. That's when the negative energy really gets to you. And it gets to me too. And the way I was able to get around that is just do a lot of self-talk, self-motivation whether I'm writing down my intentions, whether I'm reading them at night, reading them in the morning, I'm constantly speaking positivity into my life. Yes, it's going to take a while. And I believe a lot of times through our spiritual journey, we don't think that things are going to take a while. We we get into things and I used to be like that. I'm like, oh, this should take about like maybe five years. And then the five years pass, you're like, wow, it's taking a little longer than what I expected. Maybe it's going to take 10 years. 10 years pass, you're like, oh, well, let me not put you know, and as you're growing and as I was growing, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to put a time frame on it. Let it take however long the universe wants it to take. And it's a good feeling to get 
to that level because there's a lot of people, most people are not emotionally mature. They are still emotionally the age of 15, 16, 17, 18 years old. And these are grown folk. We're not talking about a teenager. And they're also emotionally uh, not at the emotional age that they should be as well. We're talking about a grown person. So we're talking about people who are in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. We're talking about grown people, 30s. These are people who are emotionally unbalanced. And they're mostly stuck at age. And most people are like that. There's not many people who aren't. I've met more people in my career working as a crisis clinician who, and a psychiatric screener too, and a state in New Jersey, who are emotionally um, tied to what age, whatever, whatever age that the trauma or the upset or the painful experience happened. That's where they're at. And that's where you got to meet them at. And a lot of times you can't really converse with those people or talk to those people because they don't they don't understand. They're not at the same spiritual level. Now, I'm just happy that I was able to get past that because whatever happened to them, they weren't able to get past that. Like I said at the beginning, when I was 27 years old, I had my spiritual awakening and that was the dark night of my soul. And I could have stayed in a very stagnated place but there was something within inside my spirit and it was my spiritual being, but at the time I didn't know what it was that was telling me to kind of reel it in a little bit, take some time for yourself. Cause I was starting to understand and see a pattern in myself. I had some insight that the, the relationships I had been in, which weren't many, and I was only 27 years old at the time, weren't many, but it had similar behavior, similar patterns. I was like, okay, let me take a look at what I need to work on, on myself. Maybe I'm transmitting something. And, you know, for 10 years, and I've talked about this before, I was celibate for 10 years, a long time, right? So, no, I'm not telling you that that's what you have to do. I'm just telling you about my experience and how I've gotten to this level of my spiritual growth within myself. And it has empowered me so many ways. And no, today I'm not celibate anymore, but I'm still spiritually ascending to higher levels than what I could ever have ever could imagine because I've gone through some pain. I've gone, not some pain, I've gone through some pain, some uh, lots of struggles, heartache, um, tears, um, adversity. I'm still going through it. If you're living, breathing in this chilly side of the Jordan, you're still going through struggle. We're not exempt from it. No one is. I don't care if you're a Kim Kardashian, a Beyonce. We're all living creatures. We're all going through a struggle. No one's exempt from it. Not nada. Not in this life. So it's all on how you deal with it. And the best way to deal with your adversity and issues is from within. To start healing yourself. To start getting to know yourself. To ask questions from you know, your ancestors, God, the higher higher power, uh, whatever you refer to when you are praying to, and hopefully you're praying or you have a connection to some type of spiritual being, you're asking them to heal, you're asking them to asking them to help you flow and follow the direction that they want you to go in, to understand your true authentic self. To understand the thing behind 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 the thing. It's always a whole bunch of things. It's never one thing. It's always a whole bunch of things. People may tell you that it's one or two things, but it's always a whole bunch of stuff going on. And it's okay. It's all right. And don't put pressure on yourself. Just go with the flow. It takes such a long time to get to the point of your life that you're releasing all control. And I think even at some areas of my life, if I re-examine my life, some areas of my my life, I still have some type of control that I need to let go that I haven't um, worked on yet. But there's other areas of my life that I have kind of totally reached control over, which is controlling my life. <laughs> That's a big area um, that I just let the universe do it. And I'm happy to say at 43 years old, I'm blessed. I am loved. I am so at peace. I'm a 
beautiful spiritual being living in a beautiful ray of sunshine and light and spiritual beings and all the madness manifestation and I have so much unconditional love for so many people out there who don't like me because of who I am and what I do and how I love to empower and, and motivate other people. I love you. I love my enemies. I pray for you guys and I pray that God will eventually heal your hearts and your spirit and that you will get to a place of healing in your human experience while you're still on this side of the Chili Jordan. It's not too late. Um, just forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. Don't worry about other people. Don't worry about what they did or what I did. If I did something to you, I apologize. And sincerely, I say, I'm sorry. I don't even remember what I did if I did something really bad. Or maybe I just did my job and you didn't like me. Or maybe you just don't like me because of the light that shine within me. And that's, I can't be Sorry for that. That's just something that the universe put inside of me. So I love who I am as a person. And I hope that you will love who you are as a person as well. Because it takes so much energy to be negative. It takes more energy to be negative than positive. Just release it. Release that negative energy. Why go into a new year with so much animosity, so much bitterness, so much pain, so much hopelessness? And release it. If you have to cry, cry. If you have to sing, sing. If you have to laugh, laugh. If you have to dance, dance. If you have to write it down, write it down. But release it. And make that peace with yourself and make that connection with your higher being. Don't let anyone know. They don't have to know. It's between you and the universe. I don't even have to know. I don't care to know. But that's between you and the universe and work on you, work on healing you, work on what's making you feel so bad and stop pointing the finger at your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your aunt, your uncle, your grandparents, your godparents, your foster parent, your resource parent, your baby daddy's mother, your baby daddy's sister, your baby daddy's aunt, this, your sister, cousin, aunt, you go, oh, stop, 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 stop. Just focus on you. Focus on you. It's a beautiful thing to focus on you. So focus on you is a beautiful thing throughout 2022. And it's a, even a beautiful thing in 2023. Great things are coming your way. As we're going into this new year, 2023 is all about seven. Seven is the number of completion. There's going to be so many things that are going to be completed on an inward level and out level, level too. So if you have been really working on yourself extremely well, especially throughout this year of 2022, which is the number of six, which means self-love, healing, and all those good things that comes with protection and healing ourselves, then 2023 is just going to be the rewards to yet to become. So if you've been hustling and doing great things when it comes to your clothing line, your business, personal care, self-care, spiritual care, physical care, all these things will manifest. Just make sure you do it more of a spiritual way. So make sure you meditate, you pray, you set aside your attentions and put it towards the universe and start working upon it. And really don't get upset when things kind of stop. That just means that, hmm, this project right here is done for right now. I've completed it to where it needs to be. I'm going to keep this project right here, put it over to the side, and let me start working on something else. And guess what? Something else, you'll start working on that. And before you know it, you'll be completing that project. And then, ding, the project that you put to the side, will, you'll have the final pieces to put together. I've learned this year that when I've done that, the, there was something that the universe needed me to transition with inside myself. For instance, I just noticed that it was actually the other day that I had created my spiritual life coaching website. Beginning of the year was already done by March. And I didn't have the pictures. The pictures I had weren't, you know, they weren't pictures that really go with the concept of spiritual life coaching. So I needed a photographer. So there were a couple of photographers that I kind of knew of, some, you know, but it just didn't feel right and didn't feel like it was a good match. 
So uh, a couple weeks ago, I was at work and I asked one of my colleagues, I said, what do you learn as a photographer? So she told me about the first and the first and the photographer. And it was a really good connection with me and the photographer. And um, now I have a photographer and now everything kind of is putting together. But in that process of not having um, things together, there was something I had to learn with inside myself. So I did some self growth. I've done some self care. I was reading, I read so many books this year. It's not even funny. Um, more on the spiritual side with shifting your thoughts or spiritual care, things of that nature within a six month time period. Because I told you, um, I created a website. I think it was done by March. Me, I think it was March. The beginning of March was done. And it took like six months, like a chunk of the year for me to for me to get to the place that the universe wants me to get to spiritually for the next step, the ending portion of the project. And I'm happy that it went the way that it went versus the way I wanted it to go. And when you release control and really start to heal and really start to obey a different system, a different practice, because... There's different systems and practices out here that you can obey. And I choose the divine practice. And, 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 and I always talk about the law of attraction and manifestation, law of detachment, the law of cause and effects and so forth. These are the things that kind of help me within my spiritual journey. So 2023 is going to be that year. I'm excited for you. And I'm already feel like I'm already in 2023. I've been feeling like that since October. So even though it is upon us and, and it's getting ready to happen within a number of days, I'm wishing you a happy 2023. I'm so happy that I was able to create this show called Sun Vibes, where you get to discover your true authentic self. I'm looking forward to airing more episodes of Sun Vibes in 2023 where you guys can learn so many different ways of how to heal yourself through my experiences and also tips as well about what around you you can change physically as well as mentally and spiritually. So that's it for this episode. You guys have a great new year. Be safe, be fun. For those who are going to be staying inside the house like myself, just spend some time with yourself. Have some namaste. I like to say, like, I don't even know if it's tea called Namaste. I think it is tea that's called Namaste. But if you can stay tuned in and tap into yourself and just kind of reflect on your year and focus on what's yet to come, that is the most happiest new year you have yet to come. I love you. I feel that someone is going to get married in 2023, like within six months, and that you're going to are actually going to meet your your husband, and for those other people, your wife. So I'm excited for you guys. Take care of yourself. Stay blessed. I love you. And happy new year, guys. See you in 2023. God bless. Bye.